It's been a long time coming from the SC Sakalana, baby Sometimes it feels like the world is against me Cause I'm coming from SC From heartache and pain Round brush The most common and versatile style of brush which has a very good capacity for holding paint. Hi guys, welcome back to the Nail Genie SC. For all my returning subscribers, welcome back. To all my new viewers, welcome. Glad you are here. Go ahead, if you would, and hit that subscribe button for me. It's free to you, and it does not cost a thing. So, guys, in today's video, we are going to jump on this comic book nail slash uh, pop art nail slash cartoon nail, whichever way you want to call it, trend. <laughs> So guys, I this is going to be a um the start of it I'm going to say is a hiccup. So this is my trial and error set, right? So this is the first time I'm trying this set. I'm going basically off of memory. I looked at a few sets and then I said, "Okay, I want to do it." So I'm basically going off of memory. So of course, going off of memory, you make mistakes like me because i'm in a hurry i got my mind is going a hundred different places so you're going to see some of the mistakes on the first stand that i created and these i was going to create for my website if they turned out the way i wanted them to but i actually just made them a display for my business so that my clients see it and ask me about my press on business so You'll all see the end results um, shortly. I have sped this up quite a bit. So the gels that I just gels that I use to create the set, I use the Vinalisa Mud gels, and I showed you guys all of the different colors that I use. I also use um, some of my um, I think it's called Vrimol gel paint. Um, I use that this time around. As well, and I did pull out my Nicole J brushes, but my Nicole J brushes were too thin. And it's a great thing to have a good thin brush, but for this design, I needed something a little bit more thicker. So you guys are going to see me switch out my brushes, and I'm going to be using my McCart brush as well as um, my Shein brush to do the outline. So here is where I started to mess up because I, okay, so I got turned around. What I should have done first was create the black border for the nail or the black outline of the nail, right? But um, I started with trying to see if the colors that I chose from the Vrimmel will darken up and cause that shadowing effect here on the nail which it does but you see i'm putting it too close to the edge so when it's, i put the black gel paint around the edge it's going to cover all of this work that i've done so i'm leaving this in guys because these are trial and error um, maybe someone else have not yet tried to do this design and they're going to try it. If you try doing this design, don't start it this way. Start your design the, with the black uh, gel paint or gel polish or whatever you're choosing to use. Um, creating the border of the outside of your nail first and then add all the details in, you know, after that. So... Once I realized I didn't do this design the way I wanted to, after I did the first stand, the next three stands, I did it correctly. I did it starting with the border first. So you guys will see that as well um, here in the video. But I do love the color choice that I created with this. Now, there's going to be a lot of things that 
I shoulda, coulda, woulda, wish I did, right? But like I said, everything is in trial and error. Um, So this was going to be my practice before actually doing. So if you follow me over on my Instagram page, my TikTok, or um, my Facebook page, then you already know that I have created a second set of this uh, pop art slash comic book slash cartoon nail um, and solid pumpkin orange. And it turned out beautifully. And I, it didn't take as long um, because I had already knew what I wanted to do. Because I had done this set, I had already knew what I wanted to do first and how I was going to get that set complete. Even though doing it on five fingers is easy. Like, doing it on five nails is easy. And this, it goes by quickly. But doing it on 20 nails is a longer process. So it took me a couple of days to get... Um, even the second set done, it took me a couple of days to get this set done. Um, so yeah, but I like this set. I really do. I would love to recreate this set again and I probably will. Um, it's just once I do, um, something that's trending, it takes me a while to come back around to it. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but once I get it down on a canvas and it's done, I'm kind of done with it, if that makes sense. Until I feel like, well, I want to try it again in this color. Or I want to try it again doing this. And I want to add a little bit more detail. So in this set, I added way more detail than I did in my second set. My second set, I just kind of made it just the orange you know, plain orange, pumpkin orange nails with the black border, the white accents, and the matte top coat, and was done with it. And it turned out exquisite. It turned out beautifully, and I really um, love the set. But in this set, I did not matte this set. I actually kept this set shiny because when I, like I said, this was my first time doing this set, and for me, um, it was trial and error. So when I'm looking at other people's set, because of that cartoon effect, I could not um, figure out if the set was shiny or matte. <laughs> and I was like, how did it make this characteristic look so, um, like, it stands out? So after speaking with my good nail sisters um, that we I run things by, we, we kind of run things by each other, um, I was directed to know that the mat would make it pop a little bit more and give it that cartoon effect. So that's why the second set was matte. This set is not going to be matte. And I'm, if y'all already seen the um, thumbnail, then you could probably tell that this set was not matte. It was actually, I kept it shiny. But I like all the details, nonetheless. All right, guys. So here I'm just showing you guys... Um, me outlining all of the nails. I think this is going to speed up quite a bit. I wanted to leave a little bit in at a good, decent amount of speed so you guys could see um, what I was doing just in case it helps you um, when um, you're creating your pop art nail set. Um, but I love these colors I chose. And I'm going to tell you, that Vanilisa, um Mud Gels, I love them. They go on so smooth. It You can see as well, they self-leveling. They give such a beautiful application. The colors are so vibrant, even if you're using the pastel colors. So, yes, I, I really, I'm so thankful I picked up that uh, mud gel set way back whenever I did. <laughs> I'm for AliExpress. Oh, God, it's had to be, I guess I've had that in my possession maybe six months or more. But... I love these gels. Oh, y'all, I don't know why I always do that. I do it all the time. But I'm going to tell you, I had received a package in the mail. And um, the I love the package. Don't get me wrong. I love everything about the package. I received it from a fellow um, sister. Um, and it had a few cat hairs on some of the products. And I did not no or at the moment i did not realize that i was having a allergic reaction to the cat hair that was on the product 
So, I mean, are on the items. And so I was, um, I had to take a, um, Benadryl and, um, to rest and, you know, the inflammation and everything flaring up and stuff like that. I had to take the Benadryl. Um, so I'm kind of, um, still a little groggy because even, you know, you have to take those things at a decent amount of hour to get all the sleep off of you. And as y'all know that I am a, um, I work from home. I'm a full-time mom. And so I got to get up and get my daughter out the door early in the morning and school, you know, school ain't going to wait for me. So it breaks my sleep and I have to just, you know, start the day. So I apologize if y'all like, why is she always yarning? That's, that's why I'm always yawning because I'm up early. I go to bed late at night because my mind is kind of moving a lot. I'm, I'm doing, um, thinking about the next set. I'm sketching in my little black nail book what I want to do next and, you know, things like that. So, and watching a little bit of TV because, you know, that's what, that's what you do when you, you work from home, you make your own hours and you you work, your mind is constantly working, even when your body is not. All right. So here you see, I'm doing the black outline. So on that nail, as you see, all of that work that I've done, adding the shadowing, I'm covering it up with this black gel paint. Now I'm going to tell you a lot of things that I noticed and I did differently the last set. So Using this Vremol gel paint, it has a thicker consistency than um, using um, gel polish. So, once I um, cured these, um, the paint was just too thick and it caused wrinkling around the border of the nail. Some of them I had to try to fix, but once that border was there, it was kind of hard to fix. That's why... This set never made it to my press on website business, um, because it just was, I wasn't, I wasn't going to sell it that, you know, I wasn't even going to attempt to try to sell it that way. That's not how I do business. I try to give the best, uh, quality work. Um, and if I, even, I don't care how much time I put into it. If it's got any imperfections, it's not going to make it to the website. It's going to just be a display something I can show clients that I can do or refer back to, you know, refer back to it to say, okay, I need this color, this color, this color, this color, whatever the case may be. Right. So, um, anyway, so don't, I, I would say if you're going to do this, use gel polish, a black gel polish, because on the second set I've done, I used the Madam Glam black gel polish and it absolutely turned out perfect. No wrinkling, no buckling, no none of that. And the lines was thick and nice and pigmented. And I didn't have to go over it. You know, I, it was just one, you know, put the strokes down and that was it. So I learned that from, um, I learned that also from this set. And as you can see, like I told y'all, all the detail that I did to this set. Everything is gone because now I'm putting the white border where the yellow border was at, right? So I was like, okay, do I want to do that on this side? And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to change some things up. So this was my trial and error. The first stand was all trial and error. You see, I'm wiping it off. I don't like the thickness of the line. I'm like trying to figure out how this goes. To me, it's an upside down exclamation point. Right with a little bit of parenthesis, is that's what I call it the detail, right? But y'all see, I keep going back and forth trying to get it to my liking. So when you create nail art, and if you the artist yourself, these are the things that happen. These are the things that happens. You look at the work and you decide, okay, yeah, I like it. No, I don't like that. You know, this that's you know for me. I kept saying, yeah, something ain't right with this. I got to figure this thing out. And and that's just what I do. And that's what you would do, too, as a creator and a nail artist and a nail tech or anything that you put detail in, you're going to have times where it's not coming together like you want it to. 
and you're going to have to erase and you're going to have to, you know, pull something else out or get another brush. Like I had on the table maybe about five or six art brushes because I was trying to find the right brush to create some of this detail. And I think I finally went with this right here and that was it. I was like, okay, pop it in the light. That's going to be it. You know, because sometimes you can, as an artist, you can overdo it. You can think too hard about something instead of just getting it done. And we'll come back to that. Did you know practice makes art? Practice the coma, C, the letter C, leaf, the S, the letter S, ribbon, and teardrops using polish or paint on a nail tip until you master each one. So, guys, nail art is not easy. And I, I, I'm I, glad to see a lot of the community of women who love to just attempt it even when they never done it before and they work come out so flawless. I love to see the ones that are just artists and they love to put it on a smaller canvas. I just love nail art altogether. It's it's an amazing. It's it, it really does something to you as a person. It brings out that more creative side of things for you. It helps you to um go to a place in your mind that you never thought you could get to. Um just putting it on a canvas and once it's done and you see it all come together, you like, "Wow, I did that. I did that." So practice makes art. Just practice, practice, practice. Don't give up on yourself. Keep on trying. It might not look good uh, the first time around, but just keep trying. And that's my thing. I love to, I have on my desk um, a bunch of swatch sticks where I've tried or attempted to create a drawing on a nail before even putting it on the canvas of the actual nail. And that, and I have a whole lot of those, but I learned that in school um, when we took the nail art portion of the class, we would just do nail art on the swatch sticks. So it helped um, me um, learn how to um, just keep trying. And the first nail art I did once I got out of school was I created a woman with an afro, which I modified after. Um, um, woman with an afro and some um, Louis Vuitton heels and a leg. So I thought, well, I did that and it looks good. You know, I would ask, you know, family members, what does it look like to you? And at first they was trying to figure out what is this? What is this? Because some people don't see what you see and that's okay. It's okay if they don't see it. Eventually, they will see it. Once they take a long, hard look, they'll see what it is you're trying to create. But as the creator, if you see what you're trying to create, then that's all that matters, right? So as y'all see in the background here, a few of the nails already been done. I even tried to do some little pop art details on that blue nail there. And that's what I decided to do with this set. And I was liking how the set was coming along. I really was. It was coming along beautifully. So don't give up on yourself, guys. That's the whole, um, hopefully you're receiving something out of this uh, pop art design today. Um, I love to um, create. And wherever I can help, I try um, to help you guys through my own artistry, my own mistakes. Um, sometimes I don't make, um, as many mistakes, but I'm not perfect. Nobody is. And I practice all the time and I try to get, um, get the detail as, um, as pretty as I can make it as beautiful as I can, where if I'm going to create the look and someone's going to wear it, they'll be proud to wear the look on their hands. So, guys, if you have not checked out my website, I'm going to leave it down in the description box below. There is a pop art nail on my website. It's the pumpkin orange. And I may put a few more. I thought that one would leave quickly, but it's still there. Um, so, guys, go over and give it a look. 
we got holidays coming up. We got um, my nails will be great for stocking stuffers, uh, gifts, and all of that great stuff. But I have so many different designs on the website and some just basic sets as well. Um, something where you can wear on any occasion to work. Uh, to play um, out to dinner with your friends, family, loved ones, a husband, you know, boyfriend, wife, wherever you, um, wherever you headed to. So just go over and give that website a look over and see if it's something you like. And remember, guys, if you want a custom set made to just exactly for your fitting, you can always reach out to me um, through DM direct messenger on Instagram. Or you can email me, and the email will be also linked below. Um, it's brutongenie at gmail.com. All right, guys, I would like to thank you all for the love and support to my channel. I appreciate you all very much. If you are here and have not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you subscribe and hit that like button for me. It helps out my channel a lot and allows me to continue to get more content out to you, my viewers. All right, guys, I just want to say I really, really appreciate you all very much. Thank you to all of the newer subscribers that's joining the Nell Genie family. It is much appreciated, and I see you, I see you, I see all of you. I love all of my subscribers, all of my viewers. I am thankful for this community of such great people and um, such great uh, artistry um, detailed in the application and the work and the nail art and, and just everything you all you all do. I just appreciate being a part of such a wonderful, amazing nail community. All right, guys, so this video is going to be coming closely to the end. If you stayed this long in the video, I want to say thank you very much. You are really helping my channel out a lot. You're helping my um, growth here on YouTube, and that means so much to me, so very much to me. Guys, we are halfway there. We almost, well, we are beyond halfway to 500. We are over halfway to 500 but we almost there it'll be time for another giveaway soon and i am still collecting um or purchasing more items to throw in the box um because um i want this 500 giveaway to be just as amazing as the 300 giveaway was um to um, the winner josie thank you for showing those items on your channel and I am so thankful and appreciative that you enjoy all of the things and the goodies that was in that box. Um, it meant a lot to me to see you um, excited about those things. So, guys, that's just when you a person who loves to give and give from your heart. It just does your heart good to see someone else feeling some joy in what you've uh, given them. And I've always been joy joyful for everything that i've received from anybody i received it from it just does my heart good to just be able to receive things but it does my heart even even more um great to give and i love to just you know i love to make people ha happy if that makes sense i love to see people smiling um yeah my family we just that's just who we are. We we sometimes are more givers than we are receivers. But it's okay. It's better to give than receive. And that's what the Bible says. So I, it feels good to give even my time, my energy, a gift or two, a card or two, uh, just a trinket of my token of my appreciation. It does my heart good just to be able to do that. And it does my heart good to give you guys this amazing content here on YouTube that you like. And I appreciate all your comments, your love, your support that y'all give me and leave me. I read every comment and I just want to thank all of the ones that commented on my stamping video, giving me pointers and tips. We will be getting back into stamping. I will be using all of those tips and tricks um, that you guys give me. I want to give a special shout out to Lizzie Nails 
for every day this month, guys, every day this month, she has wished me a happy birthday every day this month. And my birthday is actually Sunday, this coming Sunday, October 30th. And um, I just want to say thanks, Liz. I appreciate that very, very much. It just makes my heart, uh, it does my heart good to see you wishing me a happy birthday in my comments. I also want to give a special shout out to three amazing nail sisters of mine. Um, Nails by E, uh, Nails by Lena C, and I am Biscuit. Every day they remind me, oh, your birthday is coming up. Oh, <laughs> How many, especially Nails by E. She always tell me, what day is it? How many more days to your birthday? She's excited about my birthday more than I think I am. But I just want to say thank you, ladies. I love you all. Guys, if you don't know who these amazing women are, I'm going to leave them down in the uh, description box. Go over and give them a follow and get to know these, like, these beautiful women in this community. I have such an amazing group of women in this community. If I start naming off names, I probably forget a few and somebody going to get upset with me. So I don't want to do that. I don't want nobody getting upset with me. Um, so I just want to say I have an amazing group of women that I am around constantly um, or spending time with um, virtually, um, not physically, but virtually. And um, it does my heart good to just be able to um, have um, that advice, have um, the uh, though that encouragement. It's good to just get you someone I always tell my daughter, even if you have just find you one good friend, one good friend, if you blessed to get three or four um, good friends, then that's all you really need, guys. That's all you really need. You need people that's on your side. And I just thank God that I have a lot of women in this community that really is on my side. And I just thank you all. Um, guys, so this is the final look. I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, same name, the Nail Genie SC. And until the next time, guys, I wish you all well. May your family stay blessed. Blessings to you all. And the deuces are flying in the air. You already know what time it is. Poof, the nail genie, she's out.